How's it going, doggy people? I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going over a video that was requested um, a little while back, um, a couple of videos by Unis Honest um, with Markiplier, and I believe his name is Ethan or Ian, I might be incorrect, I'm so sorry if I am. Um, this is from, this video is from the Wayback Machine. This is just uh, me giving, you know, my opinions on a fully trained, you know, quotation marks, uh, guard dog, attack dog, whatever you want to call it, weaponized animal, or an animal who's been taught to be weaponized and use their teeth. Um, so uh, we're going to be just looking at this, giving a few pointers of what I happen to see. Of course, everything used under Fair Use Act for education, criticism, purposes, nothing negative against anybody here, anybody involved. Okay, guys, how are you? He's walking. Of course, we have him on a prong collar, lots of lip licks. Dog is already very, very... Um, Stimulated, you know, very open mouth, you know, tongue flopping out. He's just either been worked a lot to tire him out, or if he just, you know, got up and this is just his mindset. This is what I also find to be. I'm not a fan of, of guard dogs or protection dogs or even the way they're used in the military. I, I mean, anything besides a tracking dog or a bomb sniffing dog or drug sniffing, that's fine. I mean, I'm totally, I, I'm all for that, but I don't personally agree with the whole weaponizing an animal and it, because the amount of control you have to have over an animal that finds it reinforcing to bite you know their prey instinct you have to have a lot of correction but there are people that are now even on the forest teaching positive ways to uh stop the dog from you know they teach the dog positively from the beginning so that way if they are an attack dog or they are a canine unit whatever it is with the police um and they are used uh, you know to stop bad guys so to speak, um, that they don't have to rely on harsh corrections to stop the dog um, or choke them out or, you know, hit them with a stick or otherwise just, you know, beat the dog in order to get them to let go because it's more reinforcing to bite and hold on than to receive their punishment, which they're going to get anyway. So that's what I find to be very dangerous about it. I'm glad they're using more positive methods to train it so that way it is more reliable, it is safer. But overall, if for the average person, I don't think any average person, really any civilian, should rely on an animal like this. Um, because I think there's just too many variables where it can be unsafe. And they won't have necessarily control of the animal. He's backwards, sideways. So he removed his prong collar. So he has the prong collar here, perfect, he removed it, he's able to do this all off leash, probably because he's taught it many, many times on leash. Um, and so he, the dog got off, he said no, place, he goes back. The dog wanted to get off, got a little bit confused, cute little grass covered couch here. Oh. Yeah, very nice. Dog stops, the dog is very, very aware of his surroundings. I thought my dog was obedient. <laughs> Now that, again, this is what people think is impressive as obedience. Like, what is a dog thinking? You know, the dog's probably just a chicken on crack. Like, okay, what, I'm waiting to, for my next order, and it, to me, it looks like if I were this dog, that I'd be waiting to, you know, follow the next command, as they are, um, as quickly as possible to prevent correction. Um, now, he doesn't have his, his prong collar on now. He's not correcting the dog other than using his voice. But I imagine... Um, as they state earlier, uh, that the dogs start training at two or two and a half months old, um, you know, and I'm sure they're very soft with them then, but then she even explains that if you, if I tell you to do something and you don't do it, you're going to get a correction. You have to do what I say. So they have these dogs, if you're going to train them to be a weaponized, you know, a, a, a weapon of mass destruction, then they basically have to treat them like robots. I mean, that's with this type of method. This is just how they, they treat them, which is why I think it's just so pointless. Like, this is not a robot. This is an animal with a mind of its own, emotion, sentient being. I think that especially training this while only relying on aversives to control it. I'm not saying that these are only relying on aversives, but usually the technique relies on aversives to control the dog. The threat of violence, if you do not like it, if you do not do what I say, um, you're going to get corrected. I just, I don't agree with that. 
Mana tengok? Akhirnya. Au! 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 Akhirnya. 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 Tung! Eh, how are you? And how, I mean, for me, obviously, I always think, you know, like, how did he teach this dog? We know because it's a prong collar. Nobody has a prong collar off. The threat of correction is now no longer in the dog's mind, but the dog is still mentally aware that that can still happen. I'm not saying this dog is, like, mentally abused or psychologically abused, but it's just, I just don't think it's healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Sid. One plus one. Okay, good. So he just went to go pet the dog. The dog gave a couple lip licks, kind of looked at his hand, like, what, what are you doing? Kind of, you know, didn't know that was going to happen. So I don't know if the dog normally is comfortable with petting and things like that. But he goes from, you know, barking and, and someone was lunging at him. And the dog goes to protection mode. And then he has him sit. And it seems like he hadn't quite gone out of that mindset before he went to go touch him or grab his harness. Um, so that could be a, maybe a reason where the dog might redirect accidentally. What? One plus one. Two. Really? One plus one. Oh, oh. Good job. Okay. This is two. For you, for you move harder. Two plus two. Four. Yeah. Two plus two. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. <laughs> so he's just putting his hands up and the dog is trained to just bark until otherwise rewarded. So that's a cute little trick that they have going on there that I do, I can appreciate. Uh, you know, he's just holding his hands up there. He barked. Twice the first time, okay, good, good boy, and then that ends the the be, behavior. Yeah, and then that ends the behavior. Holds his hands up. He barked twice. Barked another time. Waited a little bit. Hands are still up. Barked again, and then good boy. This is for Marina. You good dog. Please let's go, please. Marina, please come in. Good job. You come in. Good. Okay, so just the way he comes in, his head kind of lowers. You know, big eyes, lip licks. You know, he just coming into this guy doesn't seem like he's very trustworthy. I would prefer personally for a dog to not feel the need to come up to me nervous like that, you know, showing that body language. But yeah, are you ready? Up. Yes, this is ready. Who beat with these guys? So come here. Down. I'm no recommend move. This is crazy. It's a very smart dog. Really. Smart. And any dog is really smart. I mean. A Belgian Malinois is is very high energy, so you can teach them a lot of. You have to kind of teach them a lot of behaviors because otherwise they would become destructive. Actually, I think the thing is, like, all dogs are this smart. Yeah. Just a very good. Dog. Absolutely. Until it's <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good on off switch. Who's ready to try? I guess so. Yeah. Uh, three. You come and sit down, please. So the dog is just constantly looking around for something to do. Like, what, you know, uh, what's my next order or what's the next person that I can bite? Okay. Okay. Say, come. Come. Say, come. He'll... Pet, pet, sit. Now, do. <laughs> so he automatically knows what to do, comes over and sits. Although I don't think the dog is necessarily comfortable with this. He's just been taught to that this is what you do. You just, he's been taught to accept it. Protect you, okay? Hey, how are you? What's up? What? Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh. Say pet, good job. Say good job. How? So, of course, the dog would never attack his, his regular handler. I mean, I'm sure if this guy got up and ran, then he might go bark at him too, but he's just been taught to do that. Um, spatulate tongue. This dog is just really amped up, and I would say stressed, not necessarily, like, in a good stress. I mean, there's, like, there's How does... regular stress, which is, like, I don't know. E stress or U stress, or whatever. There's the difference between the two stresses in your brain, but this just doesn't look like a healthy mindset to me. Okay, like I don't want my dog constantly panting and just like you know, tongue is all swollen. And they're just excited. No, 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 no. You say good job. Good job. Good job. How about you, my friend? Doing good. What is my money? Why are you not giving? What is my money? <laughs> oh, shit. Good job. Good job. Good job. I like this scenario. Okay, say go play now. Go, go play. play now. Go play. Go play. Go play. I've never felt more safe than right then <laughs> in that chair. I can imagine. I mean, I think I would feel safe too, but that's the scary thing is, you know, you could have a child running by and the dog you know, goes after them if, you know, scares the kid or, I mean, who knows what. That's insane. That's pretty cool. That was so cool. That's real cool. Yeah. I think this is a good time to point this out. If you're... 
or out in public unless you get explicit permission from the owner. If you see a dog that has a service vest on or it looks like it's working, do not go up and distract it. Don't go up and pet it. You could probably ask the owner, but they're doing a job. Do not distract dogs. I see people all the time that have service dogs Very and good. random I people just come up and make noises at the dog and go and immediately pet the dog. Absolutely. You don't know what that dog is doing for their job. They could be looking out for somebody having a seizure. You have no idea. So do not go and pet service Absolutely. dogs unless you get explicit permission from the owner. And also Very good. And before I uh, interrupt Mark here real quick, I think that's absolutely a great PSA to put out there. If you see a dog with a vest, even if you don't see a dog with a vest on, you know, don't try to distract them. If it clearly looks like they're working, just leave them be. And I always say that if you want to go pet someone's dog, just because the owner says it's okay, doesn't mean that the dog is okay with it. So get the owner's consent and then get the dog dog's consent. If the dog is leaning into you, they look comfortable. They you know run up to you and they show you their butt. And yeah, you can give them a couple pets. But if you go to pet and they move away, maybe don't continue petting them. So keep your dog on a leash. There are so many situations Thank where you. someone has a dog and they're like, oh, my dog's friendly. Absolutely. That doesn't mean the other dog is too. Mm -hmm. And it's not even a case where it might be like aggressive. It Absolutely. might be a case where if a dog is coming up in a quick manner, it's going to perceive that as a threat Absolutely. if it's been trained to do that. Dogs are... Even if it hasn't been trained to do that, unless that's what he said and I just misheard him. But, but it, whether it has or has not been trained to do that, it is threatening. Um, a lot of people are not friendly with dogs. A lot of people are afraid of dogs. So having your dog run up to every person, it's rude, people. So please keep your dog on a leash unless in an otherwise specified zone that says dogs are allowed to be off leash such as a fenced-in dog park or even an open dog park that has signs that says your dog can be off-leash. And they will be signs, so look out for them that say off-leash area. Or there will be a lot of signs a lot more times that say, please keep your dog leashed and clean up after them. And everybody, seems like everybody who parks in front of that sign is the person with like the six dogs off-leash that aren't in any bit of control. Sure living intelligent creatures and they can make decisions for themselves Absolutely. if they've been trained to do so so just be aware and they will make decisions for themselves even if they haven't been trained to do so it just depends on what decisions they will make depending on what they have been trained to do or not trained to do that is a very good point though that mark makes uh, which is why i find it so dangerous for the average person and even even trained personnel to have animals trained to be like these weapons i just find it to be even if trained positively, I think it can, I mean, positively have less of a, a risk of the fallout or the dog just saying, screw it, I'm going to get punished anyway, let me just go bite. I feel like you can have more control of the animal when you're training them positively because they know that they get just as much fun of chewing on something uh, in a controlled environment versus on a human. Okay, so... Stay in the move! Kiss it! Heal! 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 Please! Don't! Back! Down! Okay, so he has to have a lot of control. A lot of control over this dog. He did let go when he did say that. Um, which is good. You know, he, Again, he doesn't have his prong collar on, so that's... I mean, that's great. You know, he, he doesn't... He's able to... The dog is able to do that without the direct correlation of thinking, you know, oh, my, my prong color's on, so I, you know, I, I'm gonna listen more. Boy. You ready? Uh, I guess so. Hold like this. Stranger is okay, so prong color is yes? back on because we have a, I'm gonna say a novice trainer or a, a you know, a, a person who doesn't have as much bond and control with the dog, so we have the prong color back on. No, every people take guns, knives. But he's not holding Sometimes. onto the prong collar, he's holding onto the harness. Very good. Sometimes people, strangers, use different items. Same, you see. And. Ow! What? Ah! So now he's holding onto the prong collar to have more control over the dog, which could really just amp the dog up more. Because he's in pain, discomfort, whatever you want to call it. Um, and he may now associate this as, you know, okay, it's go time, and it just kind of amps him up a bit more. Ah! 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 What? Attack. And I also want to say, you know, before this little guy goes for attack, um, is he missing part of his ear? I don't know if he is or not. It might just be floppy, but it might, it looks like he, at this angle anyway, it looks like it might have been, you know, bitten off or something. Poor little guy, if that happened. But 
to that point, I don't want to send a dog in to protect me when if someone if it's going to get beaten with a chair or they you know they get shot first or whatnot. I mean, again, if you're going to go into dangerous areas, then you as a human can be aware of that. The dog doesn't. What? Oh! Oh shit! Oh! 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 What? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dog is still sitting here. Good job. Chewing. Good job. Okay. Oh! Okay, so the dog didn't let go. They didn't show how long it took to let go. So he had to cut, take off the jacket, because a lot of times they will just continue attacking the jacket or the sleeve. And he's choking him, pulling up on this prong collar, and actually pushing on the side of his body on the a soft part of the body right here, a very sensitive part. So he's doing this to get the dog to let go. Good boy. Okay. You would like? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. So he's going to have him suit up. I'm not afraid of the biting. What I'm afraid of is the jump and how powerful he is. That's what I'm afraid of. I don't blame him. I mean, I would never want to too. be in this position. Hi, Mark. <laughs> I'll just be a normal guy for now. I feel like a bad guy will is a lot more, right? Yeah. I'll be the bad guy. Hey, how are you? Hi. What's up? Stay no more if I'm used. So he has his long line on, so that way he can get him from a distance if he does not let go or he does not stop when he wants him to. Can I police dog? Fuss! Go! Stay! Good job, Malina! Oh! Oh! Okay, so let's go back and look at this. He's pulling, and he actually went down to the side here, and he went to squeeze on the side of the dog's body here to get him to let go. Hey! Good job, Malina! Yes. Oh! Oh! oh. Well, he pulls the skin, actually, while pulling up on the prong collar, because, again, he had to do that because he wouldn't have let go with just the word. He needed the prong collar as the, and, and the you know, pulling of this dog's body away to get him to let go of what is rewarding to the dog, which is really just the sleeve. He doesn't even care about, like, the bad guy. He just really wants the sleeve. Oh! Oh! Heel! Dragging his dog around, pulling, pulling, prong collar tight. Kill. Ah. Ah. No more. Ah. 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 <laughs> Just like, I mean, yeah, it's great. Like, it's cool for a stunt, but who's really going to use this in their everyday life? Right? Yeah, that I was did. more than I was expecting. To have. Yeah. Okay, so here we have another trainer. Doesn't have the prong collar on. Where are we going? Dog is off leash. What? What are you? What? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. So at that point, when they put their hands up, would be more of a the average citizen should say, "Okay, call their dog back. Don't keep biting on someone when they've said, okay, I surrender." Oh, oh, yes. oh. And he wasn't even threatening him. He was just standing here, and he goes and bites him. So yeah, it makes for a great show and this and that, but. The dog made a decision on his own. They didn't really stop him. So again, <laughs> again, this guy's running away and the dog is chasing him. It makes for a great show. But if this were any citizen's dog, they're just attacking people that are no longer armed and trying to fight you. You made your point. Get out! Oh! 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 What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So now, I mean, yeah, he's been like beating the dog. Like, yeah. It's going to make the dog fight more, of course. I mean, if I were just walking down the street or I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and a dog attacked me, I would fight him too. I get that he's trying to be a bad guy and he did have a gun, but the gun, and he's been unarmed. He's running away. What are you doing? You buy me. Buy my friend. Crazy. Oh. I'm sued you. Exactly. One million dollars, yes? <laughs> okay, two. Two. Two million. <laughs> One me for you. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> How's that, Mark? Oh, oh. Oh. Thank okay. you, Marie Natel. Bye. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye. Good job. Oh. Damn, dude. So a smart dog. So that's what I happen to see. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all were able to learn something from it, or you can even teach me something that I may not have known or I may have been um, ignorant about or whatever. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, stay positive.